Welcome to the Football Today podcast as we continue on through our journey of Euro 2024. I'm your host, Alex Donnelly, joined as always by the stats guy, Liam McCallion. Oh, I'm actually gutted that uh, Australia, one of the best games of all time. I'm very excited to talk about that one. So, Why can't we just, the Euros. Can we just ran with mm, that? Straight, straight in. I, <laughs> I, I, oh, I haven't stopped thinking about that Austria uh, Turkey game. Didn't so, lead him into finish. anything. I just thought no. like, he was just like, meant to be like, hi, Alex, how are you? Nah, I don't, <laughs> I don't, care, <laughs> stats I don't care how you are. I'm just here for the Euros, mate. Yeah, um, and, and Marcus is here. He's slowly recovering after uh, Italy's dreadful performance. But, with, you know, yeah, the, way ship, the, the Germany shirt's on. They're obviously playing against Spain. So Don't mention the war, especially after Austria and Turkey this morning. Uh, round of 16 games ended this morning. We're off to the quarterfinals this weekend. Uh, before we get going, please make sure you like and subscribe on YouTube. Give us that thumbs up there. Get in the comments below. Talk about the boys' shirts, how they're all going. I'm just going with the full host uh, presentable uh, nothing sweater at the moment. It's quite cold Looks in like the classic 11 kit from uh, FIFA back in yeah. the day. <laughs> <laughs> it was that sort of brown. Classic, <laughs> classic 11. Remember the classic 11 yeah. and the world 11? Uh, we're back on Instagram, so get around us on Instagram at Football Today. You TikTok and X were still there. Uh, Facebook, Social Girl Spence, and uh, newly back from holiday Leo have some work to do. Get so social media newlywed Leo. Was like, Ooh. Wait, did he get married on Kentucky? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that would be the weirdest place to get married. <laughs> hey, I was at Sail Croatia in 2019. <laughs> And someone got married on Saturday. Yeah, so, someone got on my boat. Two people got married. At least you got got a boat. That would be pretty cool, yeah. yeah so then they tossed the garter and the thing, and oh. I caught so I was just standing there just drinking a beer going, it's weird. That, that makes and Im- impromptu yeah, nah, before the NR. Uh, yeah. Is a proposal at a sporting event allowed? Nah. Nah. Nah, I think that's weird. Yeah. yeah. My yeah. my partner would say no if I did that. Mm. She honestly would say no. Yeah, I reckon so. Yeah. Like, I know, I know ground rules. We haven't discussed ground rules if I was to ever propose, but it definitely wouldn't be at a sporting event. It's the SCG, Alex. Come on. <laughs> Let's go. Do the uh, Sydney Sweeney and Glenn Power. If I can get that, I'll do it then. Yeah, I think that's fair. <laughs> yeah, whatever. What was that? I don't even know what that movie was called. We are way off topic. Let's get to the real yeah nahs. We always start off with the yeah nah on this podcast. Uh, before I do, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you get a good podcast, shut up, Leo. Uh, yeah, nah. Was Mackenzie <laughs> Arnold right to leave West Ham? Yeah, nah. Or was it the right decision? Obviously, oh. it, came out, it came out on the 30th that she was leaving at the end of her contract. They didn't agree to terms or whatever. Yeah, nah. Right decision. Yep. Uh, I'll go, yeah. Progress the career simple. a bit, yeah. Yeah, I think West Ham, obviously, what was it? They finished second last. Yep. They could eventually go down. They were horrible, especially without Gurry. So, I'm going to say, yeah. Gonna yeah, say the yeah, West Ham, one of the worst teams in the... In the she was awesome though. there, though. No uh, partnership with Gorry. Which is a sad one. Harper Gory as well. I just want to know if Harper was consulted. Yeah, was was Harper consulted in this? Yeah, that's the big question. Well, mm. Harper was hanging out with Kyra Cooney Cross and Charlie Grant, so I don't think she's uh, she been good. consulted. Yeah, so I, I think I'm leaning towards yeah though. Will she go to yeah Manchester United, yeah, which we talked co- about the last show? This should be the yeah, nah. Yeah, yeah well, she copped a lot of flack. I think she should. Anyways, I I, I think still but it's she's just, flack I think for it's still leaving a, West Ham. I oh, know. I mean, like joining like we talked about joining Manchester United and how the whole debacle about kicking the women's out. It is, but. They're going from West Ham to still, Manchester yeah. United yeah, is still a, a huge step above West yes. Ham. It's still like, it's still weird how Manchester United have this aura of it's Manchester United when in the last decade just as a club in general, like they've won yeah. a couple of FA Cups, but they've been, their stadiums falling I think apart. It's still, yeah. it's still, it's still Manchester United. It's still Manchester United. In terms of their where they've yeah they've still been good at the WSL. They're as well. probably the third biggest club in the world. Yeah, but they're probably like the fifth best team in the WSL now. Yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. the thing. She's still it's moving still, up in the world, yeah. but it's like. Well, because we don't know. There could be Germany. There could be options in Spain. There could be options in France. We really don't know. Mm. I suppose we'll find out in the next couple of weeks because she's back in the UK at yes. the moment because the Tillies have got a uh, friendly next month before the Olympics. Yep. So we'll, I'm assuming we'll have a deal done by then. Also, same with Hayley Raza. I'm sure we'll find out in the next few weeks because mm. a lot of transfers now in the WSL have started to happen. Arsenal signed a new player last night. There's been talk of... Uh, Lucy Bronze leaving Barcelona, going Ooh. to Chelsea. So, well, she has left Barcelona, but going to Chelsea. Well, so. Sam Kerr signed a contract extension a little yep. while ago. Yeah. So. At Chelsea. So, yeah, the, yeah. Win- the window's open. Chink so, on, we yeah. should be getting some transfer news. So hopefully, in the next couple of weeks, we'll have some transfer news with the men as well because Euros, once that's over, silly season will be upon us. Unless Fabrizio keeps tweeting 75,000 times a day. <laughs> yeah. about What's the, the other thing. guy? Is Fabrizio. Ornstein. Ornstein, Ornstein, is, Ornstein, is, is, Ornstein is the GOAT. <laughs> See, Ornstein <laughs> just comes on and goes, exclusive, so-and-so have agreed to terms. He's going to sign a six-year contract. Here's the article. Catcher. Fabrizio will go, so Lee McCallion is in discussions with Fairfax about joining <laughs> them potentially. Uh, discussions are ongoing about insert terms and whatever no, else. Not, a, doors, not, mate, a, not an easy deal, but potentially going <laughs> forward. 
Three hours later, discussion still ongoing between Liam McCallion and Fairfax. It's the same thing over and over yeah, again. I'll give you that. Fabrizio is a social media aggregator slash content creator. He's not a journalist. <laughs> oh. Oh, that is very stiff. He does watch the show. He does watch the show. That very hard. That that show. Very hard. So yeah. It's literally just it's literally just a Chelsea fan page at the moment. Oh, he but, is, yeah, because Chelsea he, just he does try to get like so Arsenal potentially interested in some dude from Bologna and he's it's been the Italian, yeah, uh, Calafiori. Yeah. yeah, but he's like, oh, Arsenal interested. But then you like tweet out like an hour later, oh, but Chelsea have entered Chelsea. the race too. It's like <laughs> yeah. he's just driving up things for Chelsea. It's really weird. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Ornstein. Califiori, who assisted Ornstein. <laughs> he assisted the um Sakagni goal. Oh, he did, Italy. yes, yes. He, he was good. Oh, well, Chelsea will give him 70 million. Yeah, yes. for one All assist. Right. Uh, some news. Bellingham uh, banning coming because he grabbed his crown jewels and said it was a joke, <laughs> but it looked like he was doing it towards uh, the Slovenia. Slovakia. Why he, he, yeah. This tournament has made me realize Slovakia. he's a bit of a bit of a flog. He's going who else when he hasn't done anything the whole tournament? I mean, if you do <laughs> smack an overhead to four seconds, you can time, do what you want, maybe. But I feel like you can do you can cheat. Yeah, or is he got like Real Madrid syndrome where yeah, know, Vinicius, very, geez, he's, Vinicius Junior has been very up the devil in his ear. Yeah, because he More is, of, well, Vinicius <laughs> does cop a lot of hate. That's he, yeah, not no, but not he, right. Yeah, but like. He doesn't help himself by doing the things that he does. If I was as what? good as Vinicius, I'd do whatever I wanted. So can yeah. Bellingham, was well, is, is it potentially There's just a rumors that like- yeah, I reckon he might get a man. fine. Like in, in footy, if you show the bird yeah. or, or things like that, I don't know. Yeah. But surely you're not getting a ban mm. for that. England would be filthy if he got a ban. Diego Simeone would still be on a ban now if he did it because he <laughs> yeah, does it every game. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Exactly. And Kel Arteta would probably be shot. <laughs> uh, and then Christian Pulisic carried on like an absolute tool bag after America <laughs> lost to Uruguay in the Copper America yes. yesterday. Claimed the refs were cheating, said, hey, go celebrate with the Uruguayans, you tool bags. Went to shake the refs hand. the refs like, you just abused me. No. The other yeah. And Fox yeah. Fox America tried to frame it as Pulisic being the good guy going for the like, No, he abused the referees. I he love did. how Americans Ball think game. Pulisic is one of the best players in the world as well. Like, they literally got asked on the street <laughs> during <laughs> the Club of America, like, who's the best player in the world? Well, like, oh, Christian Pulisic, Pulisic, Pulisic is an up-and-coming talent. Yeah, no, 28. But, he's 28. But you yeah. also had that, that yeah, uh, broadcaster to, uh, from Fox in America going before the... Uh, World Cup going, oh, talking about like Bellingham, Vinicius Jr. Oh, Christian Pulisic could potentially win a Ballon d'Or. And everyone's like, wait, he doesn't even start. Yeah. Moron. Wait, 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 and this per and I don't even think he's the best American. And this broadcast nah. has been blocking everyone. Just anyone who's been like, no, that's definitely yeah. not right. Well, yeah. like, did you guys see that goal though by Uruguay that was well offside? No, I haven't like, seen that. Yeah. So was it was it like badly really? offside. Do they have like, um, match VAR offside. in yep. Copa yep. America? Yeah. Yep. Go Uruguay. What the hell's going on there? Not only one player was offside, but two. Wow. Oh, well. <laughs> it happens. Bad luck. Yep. Anyway, let's, get, us, let's get to some uh, game wraps of Euros because that's what we're here to talk about. Holy crap, we've wasted some time. Let's nah, rip through this. Fun. Uh, because some of these games, let's be honest, they have been so boring. Well, yeah. There yeah. was a lot happening in all of them, but three of not, the not many goals. Yeah. Trash. Three yeah. of the four I were thought, trash. Yeah, okay. My year now is going to be, has, apart from like three games, has this been the most boring major tournament ever? And the answer is probably yes. Uh, like so far, when you think yeah. about it. Yeah, mm. maybe. Anyway, France won, Belgium nil. Um, France still unbeaten against Belgium. France still haven't scored an open play. France won by another own goal. First team ever to reach the quarters without scoring a goal from open play. This is like what the hell is this going is like on? When Portugal kept drawing everything like twelve years ago, twenty sixteen, yeah, yeah. twenty sixteen, eight years ago. Yeah. yeah, they, oh, they just they have they again were creating lots of chances. So lots of them are hard. Like Mbappe keeps trying to cut in and keep, score a worldie rather than trying to lay it off sometimes. Yeah. Giving They're Mbappe playing... the license to roam yeah. rather than being structured in the team like he was in the World Cup has mm. hindered their performance. Yeah. Mm. I think they're still very solid, though. I... Oh, they'll just. They come... had a lot of chances, yeah. They're a chance of just yeah. exploding. I think now. they've been better than England. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I agree. I agree. But I think they're just not getting reward. Like, Griezmann should have scored five goals <laughs> again. In the game. He, he honestly should be winning the golden boot by a, a country and mile. Is he yeah. even going? No. Oh, no, he no, hasn't. He doesn't, no, he doesn't. He has because none of them have yeah. if you want yeah. any. Belgium as well. I think they're lucky that Belgium just don't know how to finish. They've lost, uh, sorry, five of their last six games have been goalless. 59 shots in those games, seven XG, oh. and they can't score a goal. And seven XG and not one goal yeah. from those. What about That's where you get big Rom. <laughs> yeah, yeah Rom. You fraud. <laughs> he's still at your club, technically. He's still Chelsea, no. club, technically, yeah. He's getting paid at the moment. No, he's, getting, he's, he's moving, though. Yeah. Okay. We're just giving him Going back to Italy. For the what about, time. so this is, uh, I suppose the thing is, yeah, France have won. They probably should have won a lot handier. Yeah. William Saliba, mm -hmm. I thought, again, was fantastic. He, uh, he almost scored at one point. Yeah. He, on his uh, left, yeah. It, yeah. it, it would have been a worldie, but yeah. it was never going in once he nah, hit nah. it. But it was good mm -hmm. to see people like, it's, it's funny that everyone's like, ah, oh, Saliba's good. And everyone who's been watching the Prem's like, we know. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Even you guys can admit that. Yes. He's close, He's uh, kept Haaland goalless. He's dominated Lukaku again. again. So yep. it's just like, oh, yeah, tick it off. Uh, but Belgium, 
their golden generation's done. Yeah. They have wasted the opportunity. Oh, they asked such a good Kevin team. done when Eden Hazard with they, they asked Kevin De Bruyne after this game. So I think this is the more the more the point is we all expected France to win, but yeah. Belgium have just been listless for a while. And it's mm-hmm. hey Kevin De Bruyne, golden generation has squandered chances, blah blah. He's like, Yeah, well, you see, Spain and France have had golden generations. It's like, yes, they Kevin, they trophies, have. Yeah. And they've won World Cups. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I don't know what his argument yeah. is there. Yeah. I feel bad for him because I think he was still pretty solid. He sets up a lot of the play and then they just don't finish. I think mm. it comes down to their, their goal scorers. That they, they were so dominant. They're always so dominant in the build-up to the big tournament. Should have played big Trossard at striker. Or maybe, yeah, maybe. It's, it's, it's kind of weird because Belgium's defence is the one that you're looking at and you're like, yeah. that's where the problems are. But actually, it's, it's, their, it's, attack. In the attack. it's been the yeah, attack. Yeah, on paper, it's their defence because they yeah. look slow and old. But their defence have actually been pretty strong throughout the whole tournament. It's mm. just their attack. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. All right, moving on. Portugal nil, Slovenia nil. Portugal win this 3 zip on penalties. Cristiano Ronaldo, <laughs> this was just Silly. so funny for how pathetic you were throughout this game. It was like uh, watching Soccer Aid where they're giving the charity case a chance <laughs> to score goals. And he couldn't score. <laughs> that was Cristiano Ronaldo in this game. If the if him oh, I'm trying to think of another team. If it was another player, you'd go they had a good game but they didn't score. He created so many chances. I know he should have scored. Obviously the penalty. Obviously he had a bit of a craft. He's got that. the worst was, shot to goal ratio. Yeah, in the Euros. Yeah, in the Euros, he, he scored one. He created free so kick many chances in yeah. international tournaments. Yeah, one well, from his one from sixty, I think. Yeah. Or 59, something like that. Well, he, again, yeah. he, he had one on target uh, for a kick, and then the other one pretty much skimmed the bar. He just got so, so close. I don't really like backing up Renato because I'm a big uh, Messi fan, but he was awesome. He just couldn't finish. I don't know what was going on in this game. Awesome save on the penalty as well, but he didn't finish yeah, the penalty. I think the BBC are dogs as well. That was funny. <laughs> wow. they, they they showed a highlight of him missing the penalty, and they called him... Um, Mistiano Penaldo. Yeah. <laughs> that's that was a bit funny. Gra- that was funny. <laughs> He's I not going to read funny. the BBC at all. Yeah, but he'll probably <laughs> sue him or something. Uh, th- so this obviously goes to penalties, and Slovenia were fantastic defensively. Like, yeah, and Old Black had... An amazing game. Yeah. So go on your social medias, and I can't remember who tweeted out. So Cristiano Ronaldo wears a, a whoop, you know, those fitness the devices. Bands, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah they measured his heart rate. Yeah, so it, it measures his heart rate and everything else. So when when he was taking that first penalty, um, it was at like 174. Or 163, then it was 174 bad, yeah. where the full-time whistle blew. So your max heart rate's 220. 220 minus, rate, he's nearly 40, so let's just say it's 180. Yeah. So he's right near his max heart rate. Okay. Obviously a lot fitter than that, so it's probably a bit higher. But... When he went to take his first penalty, he'd entered like, so obviously he's taken his time to compose himself, breathe and relax. He'd gotten his heart rate down to 110 when he was taking that second that penalty. That shows how calm The he lowest is. All, all game. Yeah. That, heart rate that, that, that could even be a thing at training where you test out the root bend on all the players. Who's the most I, I, calm I, no, at so a no, penalty I don't spot? Think it's, well, I don't think it's that, but it's also, That's pretty cool, he's though. obviously used to that kind of moment. He's a yep. few deep breaths, relaxed his body, relaxed Maybe his mind. Maybe too relaxed, mm. do you say? No, 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 not oh. true. He scored. Because yeah. he scored oh, the, in the shootout. About the shootout. I'm talking sorry. the shootout. Sorry, sorry. So he's, that's something where it's like relax, whereas, because I suppose we can just move straight to the penalties and we can talk about Sesco's miss after. Yep. Mm. Portugal players obviously had been in shootouts before. Yep. There is, a, there is a science behind that when the whistle blows, if you wait longer than five seconds, you are eight times more likely to score your penalty if you eight wait. Eight times more. Rather than going as soon as the referee blows the whistle, maybe the goalkeeper mm. overthinks it a little bit. I thought the player would yeah. overthink it the more you, no. like the penalty taker. But it's, it gives time for the keeper to go, oh, what's he doing? Whereas if you just take your time, okay. breathe, relax, because um, I think Arsenal specifically do that. They try and wait. Like, wait, no, yeah. 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 Mm. Whereas you have a look at, I think it was when they went back and beat Manchester City in the charity shield. The average time from whistle to penalty, uh, Arsenal was like seven seconds and Manchester City was like 1.3. Oh. There you go. So That's there an is interesting a, there one, is yeah. a science behind it, and this is where I'm going with this. Slovenia, just they horrendous. were so nervous. If there was a whoop bet on them, they were so, they were so nervous. They were like 300 high, but they were oh. three of the worst penalties I've ever seen. Yeah, they were half height. Yeah, in the middle, like towards one third of the goal, not towards corners, not no. straight down the middle, and not blasted. They were just nice and easy yeah. for Costa to save. Yeah, mm. Who, so he was amazing. Tremendous to save. All I don't know how he hasn't got to move to a bigger club. Even like, where is he right Porto. now? He's at Porto. He's, He's at been Porto. Porto. That's because he had five blasted past him in the Champions League round of 16. <laughs> well, no, he was amazing. First keeper ever to have three saves in a penalty yeah. shootout. I think just at Euros, probably in any major tournament, I'd say. He was mm. awesome in the, in the game as well. He saved a few in he, the final. Like, I know that those penalties weren't, the best, but in you the game, he was really good as yeah. well against Sesco, your yeah. man that you guys uh, love talking up. But he's an absolute beast, Costa. Yeah, and how old is he now? Is he don't know? Look, look, that. Up. So up, we'll yeah. go to the Sesco miss. So Pepe's dark arts finally failed him, and he slipped over with about three minutes to go, I reckon. And Benjamin Sesco runs in one on one with the keeper, and all he had to do just 
about six inches of height. He gets it over the keeper. Slovenia scores. Uh, Slovenia, Slovenia win. win. Go yeah. through. Oh, they were good on the counter attack a just, couple of times. He mm. kept the shot low, and it just sort of summed up the tournament Sesco had of near misses. Yeah, but he you, was. Yeah, I suppose you would in <laughs> mentally when you're running like, oh god, oh god, oh god. No, mm. I don't. I think he was calm. He just just he, didn't finish. In the, yeah, yeah. And I think there's a lot of pressure on him to get a big move. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, that doesn't help. I still think staying at Leipzig is the right thing for him going forward. He's but still it was, young. Yeah. It was very funny. So I'm in this like Arsenal Discord chat, um, and it's just like, ha ha, Sesko, lol, Sesko. It's like you just scroll up through. He's going, like, oh my god, we've missed out on him. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you guys suck. I know. There's a lot of beef when, <laughs> when you don't just, get a player. Yeah, yeah. So like I said, something was like Arsenal fans are desperately trying to convince everyone that they didn't want Sesko three weeks ago. Yeah, now. yeah. Also, yeah, yeah Arsenal is great. I think it'll still be perfect for you. I, yeah, yeah, I think he, I think he would too. But I still think another twelve months at Leipzig would do him the world of good. Mm-hmm. Anyway, moving on. I got Diogo Costa's age, but uh, yeah. he's only twenty four. So right, he'll get a move. Keepers can play till like he's, thirty five, forty. So mm-hmm. are Porto in the Champions League next year? Uh, yeah. yes, they are. We just assume they are naturally. I think they are. Yeah. They're yeah. evil, dark arts. <laughs> But yeah, he's he could he's still got plenty of time to go to a bigger club if if he wants to. Maybe he just wants mm. to be at home. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, he might get a move next year. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, let's move on to this morning's games: Romania nil, Netherlands three. Netherlands could have scored about seven. <laughs> they at least they dominated. <laughs> Romania were like just putting it on a red carpet, going here you go, walk through our defense. All right, you got a, you got a decent amount of dribbling. Marlon obviously scored two. Yeah. But they just let him walk through a couple, and oh, they were sitting. Blocked. But they were also they were pressing back, up. They were, yeah, because well, a lot of that happened in the second half. Where they were yeah. pressing up, trying to get the equaliser, yeah. and it's like yeah, that's when they can see the two, yeah. the two but goals. It, but. It, still, I I was just a bit disappointed. I know Romania. They did well in the big, first 15, 20 minutes. They did, so. yeah, 15, 20 minutes. They were yeah. all right. Netherlands finally uh, showed that dominance that they probably haven't shown in, in a while. They mm. they needed to get that three 0 win for a yep. bit of confidence. I think. Can can Cody Hak- uh, Cody Hakpo player of the tournament? Oh, he's got keep, three if goals. They, if they keep going, well, he's so good in major. He got three goals at the World Cup. Yeah. And we're talking about now. He's got three Dutch. goals at the at the Euros. Yeah, yeah. Musiala's up there. Musiala. I think I think Kante's up there. Kante, yeah. yeah. He's got man of the match in three games. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, Granite Jack is up there. He'd maybe up next there. next podcast we should we should yeah. do that for uh, after the quarters. Maybe let yep. us know in the comments. Yeah. 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 Uh, so Netherlands too good. Romania, <laughs> you got this far. So like good Dutch stuff. Dutch fans still awesome. Yeah. Just the yellow wall. The yellow orange orange. No, but yeah, Romania, the yellow wall of Romania. Oh, mate. oh sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I looks, it that looks so good. Though. They bought the vibes. They bought the flares. It was awesome. It was. All right. Uh, finally this morning, in a shocking upset, Austria won, Turkey at two. Oh, mm. This was the game of the tournament. In the first five minutes, <laughs> we're, we're watching the highlights. Just go yeah. back and watch the first five minutes. It's insane. Yep. End to end stuff. Turkey has score, which was just, I don't know how they've managed to score there. And then Austria have missed a sitter of a chance as well. Yeah. Three corners, two missed chances. Peter Drury nearly had a heart attack. <laughs> yeah. It was great. You could, I could have just watched the first five minutes of that game and gone, all right, I'm satisfied. I don't have to watch the rest yeah, of the game. Like, there, was, there was enough chances. There was more chances in that game than uh, France and Belgium in the first five minutes. There was, was more chances yeah, in that know. first five minutes than England, than England had whole, created. Yeah, England, yeah, it was. Yeah, exactly. exactly. That, it was awesome. Uh, Turkey, their crowd was going nuts. And uh, oh. who was the one that scored? De- yeah, Demerel. Mm. Demerel, the defender, scores two goals. Scores both. That, that's he could have had a hat trick as well. Yeah, yeah. He, missed a, he missed a free header. As soon so. as he got that first guy, he was fired up and locked in. He looked like yep. an absolute menace. I was calling him the Turkey, Turkey uh, Benzema. He looks exactly like Benzema. Right? I don't <laughs> a know. Little, something well, about it. A little just, buzz cut. And, yeah, just the buzz cut. I don't know. Beard yeah. going on. Hmm. Maybe, maybe that's Benzema in disguise playing for Turkey. So, I don't know how Austria didn't win this 5-2. Yeah, I think Austria they had so this. many like, chances, didn't they? Oh my god! But what about the the save at the end of the game to win the game? It's yeah. like reaction time in the rain, springing to your right on the back foot. Gunok mm. save of the it has to be save of the tournament. Save of the tournament it, so far. Literally yeah. the last play of the game, pouring down rain. They, was, that was yeah. horrible defending. It, they let they let yeah. the guy go back post free header in the last play of the yeah. whole game. I think awesome if, if if the header from Baumgartner uh, landed of. Another foot from where it bounced, yeah. yeah. Go, yeah. yeah. It was just that that comfortable sort of even comfortable. Six, oh, he, he would Superman dive to his right, yeah, so even, even six just, inches further to the right. He doesn't save, yeah, it. mate. Yeah, you say, I oh, know, but you save those in training every, yeah, yeah every fair, day. Fair. Like, the, but the not bounce, the perfect height, ninety fourth minute. It was just awesome. It, yeah. it was, yeah. The the, the add in the yeah, time of it. Like yeah, if you're yeah. fresh at training, I get it. But yeah, the the, the I suppose the composure to mm. be able to pull that off. Like yeah. if you missed it, you'd be like fair. But the fact he's pulled it off is amazing. So. Uh, Turkey go through to the 
quarterfinals. Quarterfinals, which, which is awesome. Yeah. I put in there as well, just quickly. Gregorich yeah. was a great sub. He scored for uh, Austria. As oh, soon yeah. as he came on, the it commentators were, they were, he was just awesome, controlling all the mm -hmm. plays. Just a big body in midfield, but he was yeah. working up and back. And yeah. I love watching him play. If you so. haven't checked it out, go check out the highlights. That yes. game absolutely ruled. All right, quarterfinals this weekend. I don't have the times of when these games are on stat guy. Please I can get, get them up if you want. Most likely two and five. Two and, yeah, two five, and five, five, we're assuming. I think they start Saturday morning. 2 a.m. Uh, yes, yeah, Saturday morning. So Friday night. In Australia. So Saturday morning, Spain yep. take on Germany. This should be the final. Two I best know. teams of the tournament so far going head to head. The last Euros meeting was a Fernando Torres winner in the 2008 final, which just backs up my point that this should be the final. I think both teams have been playing great football. I think at the moment, Spain have played the better Slightly across better, yeah. the four games that both teams have played. More yep. But I yeah. think the Germans' top end is better than the Spanish. Ooh, if both teams yeah. play to their best for the full 90 minutes, I think it's like a 3-2 sort of Germany, level yeah. for Germany. Yeah, this is. Oh, I just think this is going extra time. Yeah. I agree. I think, I think at max there's going to be one all because there's there's two really strong defences, just two really strong teams. When you, mm. Everyone sort of goes, oh, it's two of the best teams going head-to-head, there's going to be lots of goals. I feel like it's going to be really. But they've tight, also got yeah. some strong yeah. def defenders. Defenders as well. As well yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I've got Rudiger. You yeah. got Laporte. Like yeah. those sort of players. I think Germany win this home game advantage. Yeah. Just. Oh really? You got, so you're both going Germany. I'm yeah. going Germany. You've also got two great keepers. I think we've yep. we've talked up Spain the whole time. You got the Germany. Germany. Oh, right, no, Germany. So I'm going Spain. Three. These are your strikers. You've got Havertz versus Morales. No, no. I said striker. that at the start of the tournament. Yeah. But Spain have. But it's been really good in attack, surprisingly. It's, yeah, it's so, almost uh, like it's going to be who can do better Yamal. out of uh, Musiala and Nico Williams. They're like the X Factor players mm -hmm. within the team. And then the, obviously you've got Cruz and Rodri. Well, then you got yeah, well, you got Verts and Yamal. Yeah, yeah. It's I'm yeah. going I'm going uh, one 0 to Spain. Rodri banger from outside the box. Just just random Don't hate random it. goal. Two all extra time. Germany score a winner. Um, probably full crook. Off the bench Probably again. Krug, yeah. yeah. He's been off awesome, the bench yeah. again. He yep. rules off the bench. I think it's like he comes off the bench because his record of scoring off the bench is utterly He scored the most goals as a sub for Germany ever, I think. Well, could they mm. could they just start him on the bench five minutes in and go, yeah, yeah, we'll bring him on because he's coming nah, off the bench. but it's almost like he doesn't have the tank to do it <laughs> Yeah, as well, I'm joking. So. I'm joking yeah. Anyway, uh, Portugal versus France. Huge. This would be 5 a.m., I believe. Yep, yes, correct. France have only lost one of their last 14 games against Portugal. Unfortunately, that was in the final of the 2016 Euros. And they'd be in the back of their um, mind. This game would be in the back of their mind. That was a free kick, wasn't it? That I, they can see I honestly can't remember final? that far ago. Uh, remember where I was living at the time. I'm not sure. Because Ronaldo got injured and then... Yeah, he yeah, was crying he got on the side. Yeah. 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 Like Ronaldo's in Europe. <laughs> yeah, I can't even Anyway, um, if both teams play... this is I look at these, if both teams play to their best, mm. France win. Yep. But the way they're going at the moment, Portugal will give themselves a chance because they'll be trying to get this to extra time. Oh, I still think I still France. think France. I'm just going to go against you on lots of them. I, I, well, you, I said Portugal back the whole... Portugal. I back Portugal. I think once it comes together for Ronaldo, he's going to score two goals in a game and everyone's going to be like, no. oh, wow. And I, I think this could be the game. Well, same thing can be said about Mbappe and Griezmann. Though. Yeah. Of course. But well, William Slaver could just look at Ronaldo and go, bring it on. Again, this could be a 1-0 because I just think when these two really good nations go head-to-head, -head, you don't see many... Well, they're Same also when, not scoring. It's like when you mm -hmm. see the top four go head-to-head -head in the Premier League. A lot of games are usually like nil or one one or No, one that's one just nil. when teams play yeah. Manchester City. If it's Manchester like Arsenal... City, yeah, 4-4. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, mean, <laughs> I was about to say, when it's like Arsenal, Liverpool, Arsenal, Chelsea, yeah. there's goals. It's just when True, teams go up against City. Maybe it's just City, but I'm, I'll yeah, go Portugal. We scored against City. Yeah. 4-4 yeah. that game. That was nice. I, I've, I've, I've just forgotten about that one. City didn't score in three games against Arsenal last year. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going uh, Portugal. I think they're going to get the job done in extra time. France straight out. Because mm. I, yeah, just they're yes. not. They've just been horrible at finish. Even the goal they got uh, yesterday was was a scuffed goal. He it wouldn't have even been on target that goal. I have a stat. It was horrible. I think it's. I think it was like eighty or eighty five percent of the own goals that have been scored have taken that have been scored have taken a deflection off a Tottenham or former Tottenham player. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? Yeah. Well, Joe Goosen and... Uh, yeah, but just Charlotte. across, like, yeah. they've, they've played for that's Tottenham. That's funny. Mm, I was like, yeah. that's funny. Career. Tottenham have to have something funny. Yeah. Uh, England take on Switzerland oh. Sunday morning. Oh. England have only lost one of their past 24 games. No, 24 meetings yeah. with Switzerland. That's what I meant, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Against Switzerland. <laughs> you said 24 games. Don't yeah. worry. Don't worry. Uh, they've reached the quarterfinals in their last four major tournaments. I think this is the worst that they've played in all four of those major tournaments. The, the funny yeah. thing is it's the first time they've ever done that and it's under Southgate. I know we don't yeah, make Southgate. Great. They made the Euro last Euro final. That was They had a really good run and actually played some exciting football. Yeah, but, but like, the, the run stats, that they had, the I, hardest team they played. I know, was... I agree. They, they've they had so many major tournaments now where they get the easy draw, don't they? 
They had an easy draw. They and had the, the home game. final. Again, last it's year. it's the old. You only have to beat what's in front of you as long as you win. Who cares? It's is it is it the end result? Do you care how you get to the top of the mountain or no? Do you, well, do you reckon England fans, if they win this tournament, no, they won't care. We'll go, they won't care. They'll oh, say we shut up. Sucked, but we still won. Like, well, I see. Yeah, I see people saying that off the Slovakia game, the Slovenia game. Sorry, yeah, they were terrible and they know it. And yeah. they people saying Gareth Southgate is the worst England manager <laughs> that they've. They've ever had like the he's incompetence. Not, if he wins the, I don't think they're gonna win because he, doesn't, I think he doesn't know how game. to put out a starting eleven. He doesn't know how to make subs or when to make. Ha, have we finally agreed that it's just put Anthony Gordon on the wing instead of Foden? You have to. Yeah, yeah. Well, as soon as Foden came off, they scored. He I was. Think, he I was think walking off. on the left. Mm. Yeah. And Palmer, Palmer, Palmer on right. Pa, yeah, because Palmer can't play on the left. Yeah. I yeah. think. Yeah. But in saying that, we keep saying the easiest draw. I think they're gonna lose. I think I think Switzerland have been a lot better I think than England. They can lose as well. I, I'm going Switzerland in this one. We keep saying easy draw, but Switzerland have been great. They've been really good in attack, really solid defense. They're well drilled. This well is drilled. England. Jackers um, keep um, really controlling their midfield. This is a it? team that knows what they're doing, whereas England, like, what is this? Yeah. Yeah. Like all the other games we've said about easy draw, we've gone England still. We've tipped England because we're like, all right, they should win. This one could go either way, so I'm, I'm going to be honest. I've, I've already gone on a certain gambling website and I've <laughs> laid England in this, in this match. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I've well, laid them in the 90 minutes, so if they go through an extra time, I still win. Okay. I think this yeah. is current England squad is better than the golden generation this and they're is. performing a hundred times worse. Yeah, but it's also the same as the golden generation. Southgate's trying to fit too many dudes on the park and not the best team possible. Yep. It's like mm. you have a look at France where Rabio always plays because he fits the structure. Yeah. That's and Kante what, came straight back in. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. If you play, like, yes, okay, Phil Foden is one of the best players in the world. He just doesn't fit within the structure. Yeah. Because Jude Bellingham's better than him and he's not going to play in defensive midfield because Declan Rice is there. Yep. It's figure out who your partner of Declan Rice is. Yep. Which is probably Manu, given the way that he played the other night. Yep. Jude Bellingham there. And you play Anthony Gordon on a wing with the Kaya Saka. And mm. I'd potentially, if he has a stinker and they get through, I would potentially think about benching Harry Kane. He just looks I, tired. I probably wouldn't like this. <laughs> Only Gareth finish. Southgate would ruin having the best of Liga player and Champions League winner, Jude Bellingham, top goal scorer in Bundesliga, Harry Kane. And the Premier League player Premier of the Premier League year. player of the year. Yeah. And another Premier League player who had 45 goal contributions. And also uh, also had Declan Rice, who people thought was the, one yeah, of the players of the year. Yeah. Player of the year as well. yeah. Yeah. Probably had like three of the top five players of the year in the Premier League in your team. Yeah. yeah. But it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't always work when you just try and put them all in the same, the other one, yeah. same box. But who are we going? Switzerland. Oh. Switzerland. Are we all going Switzerland? Yeah. I think Mbolo uh-huh. is going to score and they'll win. Your boy. One. I love Mbolo from the last World Cup. Yeah. Finally, Netherlands take on Turkey. Yeah. This this game feels like Netherlands should win because Turkey, yeah, they've, they've, they've they run out of luck them, after yeah. what's yeah, happened Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, like uh, all their chances came from set pieces, Turkey. Yeah. And, and Netherlands just cut through them. And when you've got Virgil van Dijk in the uh, set piece area, it's going to be tough to win. Flex his muscles, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, he will. Yeah. They actually, the last two meetings, though, you got a 4 2 Turkey a win. And then it was a 6-1 Dutch win. So you, are we expecting goals. some goals in this one? Possibly. Because if Netherlands come out and go, right, we're, we're going to play really attacking because we think I, we can think, smash them, yeah, then can. Turkey Turkey could score on the other end. So it could be like a yeah, 3-1, 4-1. Netherlands can put on the floodgates in this one. Yeah. 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 This feels oh, I think Marlon should start. He scored two goals. Nah, bring him off he, the bench He, he was amazing at dribbling through through all the defense. Bring him off the bench again. I think he should, I think he should bring start. Bring him off the bench. So Dutch win? Dutch win. Dutch yeah, win. smash. All right, you have to pick one of the eight teams <laughs> as an absolute lock to win across the quarterfinals. Well, <laughs> we, it has to be Netherlands because all the other ones are close, I think. France. France. They're more of a chance. You think they're more <laughs> well, of a no, you chose Netherlands. Wants to be different, oh, wants to be okay, different okay, to be fair. Yeah. Well, actually, no, I'll take it back. Switzerland. <laughs> absolute <laughs> certainties against England. He stared down the camera. Absolute certainties. It. Yeah, all right. All right, that is us done and dusted for today here on Football Today. We'll be back Tuesday. I think yep. Tuesday. Oh, yep. God, I hope I got that right. That is correct. Uh, Tuesday to preview the se- review the quarterfinals, preview the semifinals, and then back later in the week to do the final preview. So just a couple more episodes, and then we're off to the Olympics where we become the fan tildes. Yes. What we're a off time. to the Olympics. Ooh. Let's go. We're not off to the Olympics. Aww. We'll be here. <laughs> that, could, that could be the new YouTube name, fan tildes. Fan tildes. Instead of football today. That's a bit of a yeah. Thing. We could rename ourselves the Fan Tilders for a month. Yep. Um, Stats Guy, you have to go buy a shirt. You have to spend some money, unfortunately. Oh. <laughs> uh, thanks, Marcus. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Stats Guy. Thank you. Shout out to Gerald behind the camera, of course, Sasha Gal Spence, and Leo now that he's back from holidays. He went on Kentucky and said he didn't get absolutely plastered every night. Uh. I blame the group because I feel like Leo would be up for tins. I'm blaming the group. <laughs> Yeah, he's drunk right now. We'll yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, that water bottle's got vodka in it. All right, make sure you like and subscribe on YouTube. Please get around us on Instagram, TikTok, and X, not Facebook. If you want to get around us on Facebook, go check out Sports Today Show. A lot of AFL content and everything else going up there. 
Of course, AFL Today, Midweek Madness Show out. Currently, Team Show will be out uh, on Thursday night as well. Cricket Today, the boys just wrapped up the World Cup. I think they're doing Major League Cricket. Are you doing yeah, Major we're gonna, League Cricket? Yeah, we're going to give it a go. Why not? There we go. <laughs> Make sure to check out NFL Australia. They are into the draft period and free agency. The draft ended last week, obviously. Hold all tickets. If you listen to this, the final episode should be out oh. on a Thursday afternoon. Final episode of the season because the racing season ends soon and our contractual obligations are up. All right. Thank you for joining us on Football Today. We'll catch you early next week to recap the quarterfinals and get into the semi-final action.